All right, time for an upgrade. I have an old frequency counter and it takes 15 minutes to settle down and start to read correctly and stabilize and who knows where it goes whenever it's in super hot you know in my workshop or super cold I don't know where it's going to go but I know it's temperature you know um, uh, sensitive so what I'm going to do is go with a newer kind uh, something that has one of these temperature compensated oscillators in it it's a lot more stable and you know when I turn it on it is what it is it's adjustable I can adjust it and um, set it to what I want but um, this is going to be a lot more stable it does seem to read really really nicely and it is stable so I'm going to go with that so now what I got is a an old a B switch for the old uh, printer port 25 uh, pin printer ports and I'm going to tear it apart and put a frequency counter in it so I got to take all this stuff out I took these bolts out earlier and uh, going to go ahead and take off the front and back panel and replace them with some plastic that I have it's uh, two millimeter and uh, I started working on it a little bit so that uh, I can use that for the front panel and, and rear so I'll get that just a little bit more perfect and then I'll have to cut slots for my display but that should work pretty good and it'd be nice to have a new fresh frequency counter on the board so that's what I'm gonna do next work 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 okay I took the back and used it for a template and cut out my plastic so that it fits down in there and that'll be my front panel now I gotta make holes and I think I'm gonna go with a square hole punch I got one for doing electrical panels for heavy gauge steel and uh, this is a half inch square these are three quarter so I have to double punch no big deal I just got to get this oil and stuff off of there I put a lot of oil on this stuff for storage so that I don't get it out and it's all rusted so still rust a little bit still get a little something but not bad everything's still moving so we'll do that in case no one's ever seen hole punch that's what it does you drill a hole the appropriate size for the shaft put that on twist that down okay and then crank this with a wrench and draw this into the hole and punches it nice and clean nice and sharp it's a panel cutter for uh, it's a square knockout cutter for electrical panels and stuff so it'll easily do plastic but it's made to do sheet metal 
So that's how I'm going to go ahead and cut my plastic up. And I'll have to add just another quarter inch. I'll just move it down a quarter inch and trim it down. And I'll have three quarters of an inch for the height of these. Then I have to make a whole bunch of them. So I got a lot of cutting to do. Here's what I start with. Well, as you can see, it's moving along. That's the piece I get out. I'll keep moving. Well, I'm getting there. Got it mounted. Got the holes cleaned up with a file. Push button holes. Bolted on. Yeah, we'll see if it fits. That ought to work. Looks all right. I don't think uh, it'll make a nice addition to my workbench. A little more work to do. Back needs to go in, but I also want to put in some SO239s and probably a BNC connector up front here somewhere so that I can input directly to this counter. Okay, I got my BNC connector in and uh, run my first test on it. Now this is plastic with a metal case so I wanted it shielded you know kinda reasonably so Instead of just leaving that plastic, I used aluminum tape, taped it down, made sure that it's grounded to the negative terminal. This is going to be grounded to this ground common for the BNC and just shielded it as much as I could, you know. But, uh, it does work. Now what I'm going to do, and I already tested it, is put a set of signal diodes back to back and that should give me uh, about a 0.6 volt maximum signal. So if I put this across here as an example, the maximum voltage that will go through that circuit is 0.6 volts. Okay, so peak to peak um, AC, of course, uh, it should only conduct in one direction, positive and then negative, 0.6 volts. So I'm going to use my toroid like I did before and use my SO239s with this diode set up in there and that should keep this circuit safe from too high of a uh, signal so that's what I'm going to do hook that up use my toroid take the signal off of there for that with a set of diodes across it to make sure I can't get maximum over uh, 0.6 volts there we go. That's what I'm doing now. I'll work on the back part and put my SO239s in and then rig this up like I did with that RF sampler that I made. I like it. I think it's going to work out good. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I've got the back wired up the way I want it. Uh, there's uh, diodes back-to-back -back diodes right there going to ground coming directly off of that toroid this will be my signal going to the front okay 
So there's the toroid. Simple number 14 gauge solid copper going from socket to socket. And uh, my 12 volt input will be there. This will be ground, case ground, so I'll be grounding the case, making sure that the whole thing is enclosed and keep my RF inside instead of outside. Okay, there it is. All I got to do is put the bottom on. See, I got the case grounded through here. The only thing I don't know yet um, is if that coil, the toroid, is going to drop my RF input down to a point where it doesn't work. Um, desensitize it as it were. We're going to find out, but I mean it did work, but I don't know what voltage minimum would be on the input so I'm going to find that out if I have to I'll just throw a switch in knock it out of the circuit for the input in the front okay there you go it's uh, pretty much done all I gotta do is put the bottom on and turn it on well it's functioning and it should be reading 27.065 so this transmitter is off because I've already calibrated this so it should be right on and I'm uh, running a little bit low on my frequency so I'll have to change that but there it is she's working woohoo I did put the switch in to disconnect the back it seems to give it just a little bit more sensitivity. Another job done.